Hey everybody, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over LinkedIn ads conversion tracking. And we're going to start by looking at the page load conversion types. So this is if you, on your website, you have a specific unique page that a user lands on after they take a particular action that you want to count as a conversion, you can use this method. So a lot of times people have a form on their website and after they submit the form, the user lands on a unique page like a thank you page. And we can use that to set up a conversion event. In the future, I'm gonna add in more conversion videos for the different types of conversions that you can set up. So event specific conversions, using Google Tag Manager, um, converting after someone fills out a Calendly form. And I'll add those to these videos and links above as I create those and I'll also put them in a playlist in my channel so you can take a look at those. Um, before we get started, the first thing that you're gonna need for conversion tracking is to make sure your insight tag is set up. Now I have a whole bunch of videos and I'm gonna continue to add videos um, depending on the website builder that you're using. Um, so if you're using uh, WordPress, I have a couple videos here that you can use Google Tag Manager or manually install the Insight Tag. If you're using Squarespace Webflow, Duda, and I'll continue to add more in here. If you don't have your Insight Tag set up, go to this playlist and watch one of these videos and get it set up. It's usually pretty quick to do uh, depending on the website builder you're using. So I'll go ahead and show you how I check that the Insight tag is set up successfully. Um, I have this uh, demo page that we're gonna be using for this uh, example. And if I have this extension at the top, the LinkedIn Insight tag checker by the B2B house, and I'm gonna click inspect. And I can see my partner ID is successfully installed on this page. And it's also installed on the thank you page that we're gonna be using. So now let's go ahead and start setting up the conversion tracking. So you're gonna go into your campaign manager account and you're gonna go to the analyze tab and then you're gonna click conversion tracking. So this is where we're gonna set up our, our conversion, our page load conversion. So we're gonna go create conversion and we're gonna set up an insight tag conversion. Now I'm gonna give this a name. Um, this is gonna be after someone submits this form. So we're gonna say it's the form submission. That's good for now. Just name it so you can identify what action the user took for the conversion. So we know it's a form submission. And then next we're gonna select a category for this conversion. So if you click this here, you're gonna see there's lead uh, base conversion. So apply job, book appointment, complete sign up. Um, there's sales conversions, there's other ones like key page views. You're gonna use the one that makes the most sense for your business, but since we're submitting a form, we know it's a lead, and we're gonna just call this a lead. Um, this, is, this does show up when you're looking at um, the breakout of your conversions. You'll see the category that's listed. It just helps you identify quickly like what conversion took place in. So we're gonna put lead here. And then you can set a, a value for your conversion. Um, depending on how many conversions you're setting up and uh, the flow of your business and what action a user is gonna take, that's gonna determine like how you want to set your value. But in this case, we can say every time we get a lead, we know it's worth you know around uh, $30 to us. So in some cases, this can be like an arbitrary amount just so you can get a sense and estimate your return on ad spend. And uh, it's not, necessarily needed here, but it can be useful as you're measuring your performance. So we're gonna say $30 here. So then next we're gonna select a time frame for when the conversions counted. So this is considered the conversion window and it's based off of the clicked, when a user clicked and then when they viewed. In most cases on the views, I always set that to one day. It's gonna depend on your business, but I like to measure the, and attribute the conversions based off of when someone clicked, not just viewed the ad. So I set that view conversion window to one day. And then on the click side, I usually, depending on the count, have it on 30 day or 90 day. And uh, in this case, we'll go ahead and just put it to the 90 day. Um, so after someone, clicks an ad, they're gonna count a conversion if they fill out this form submission within that 90 day period. So I have a little visual that I'll show you here. So on day one, the user clicked the ad and 
if they uh, say complete uh, on day like 45, they submit the form, our campaign's gonna count that as a conversion. But if they click the ad and then on day 100, they fill out that form, our campaign's not gonna get attributed um, with that conversion. So the conversion won't be counted. So it's just the window, uh, the amount of time that you want your campaigns to get attribution for a conversion. Um, so we'll go ahead and put the longest period here, 90 days. And then next we have to select the attribution model. So there's a last touch each campaign model and then a last touch last campaign model. And I have another visual just to help um, uh, show what this means. So if we're looking at the last touch each campaign, if a user um, saw one of your campaigns and say it was a prospecting campaign, they clicked on an ad and then um, they visited your site and then maybe a week later they saw another video ad on LinkedIn, uh, they watched the video, they clicked again to your site, they visited your pricing page, looked around a little more and then say another like three days after that they got a remarketing ad and um, it said, you know, you know, book a call with our team. They're, they took the action, they filled out that form and they submitted. In the each campaign model, each of these campaigns is gonna get a conversion attributed to it. So each of these campaigns would get the form submission um, conversion attributed to it. Uh, versus if the we were using the last campaign model, the last touch last campaign model, the user clicked that remarketing ad and then they submitted the form. Only the last campaign um, before the click happened and the, the submission happened is gonna get that uh, conversion attributed to it. So in the last campaign model, this remarketing campaign is gonna get a conversion, but these other two campaigns that the user um, interacted with, they're not gonna get a conversion associated with it. So in some cases, uh, depending on the count, I like to create a version of the form submission for each uh, attribution model. So I'll go form submission and I'll just denote it for each. And I'll know that um, there's a form submission we're tracking here for each campaign, for the each campaign uh, attribution. And then I'll have one that's for the last touch and I'll put last here and I'll create two separate conversions. Everything's the same except I'll adjust the value maybe slightly and I'll put a higher value for the campaign that I got attributed with the, the last touch. That's going into more of a granular view, um, but if you're just setting this up on yourself, it's okay to just have one you know conversion type and if you're setting it up, I would recommend the last touch so you know the last campaign that uh, attributed to the conversion. So you can still denote it as last. Uh, we'll just leave that there so we know we're using that model and we'll, and we'll use the last touch, the last campaign model. And then we'll go to next. And then we're gonna use the manual conversion setup. I'll go over website actions and using Tag Manager and other videos. Um, essentially the website actions, if you have the Insight Tag installed on your website, it's gonna pull up buttons and pages um, so you can easily set up a conversion that way. Um, so if you have that thank you page, you can click here and set it up. Um, it's a, a newer uh, feature, but we're gonna go ahead and use the manual conversion setup. So we'll click that. And then we're gonna use the page load method with the insight tag. So we have the insight tag installed on all our pages on our website. And then we're gonna define um, when this conversion should fire. So I always like to use the contains behavior here. So I'll go ahead and click contains. And our, our thank you page that we're using in this example is thank-you. So I'm gonna grab that portion of the URL and um, this conversion is gonna fire anytime a page loads that has thank-you. And this is only gonna be attributed to the people if they clicked a LinkedIn ad. So if they never clicked a LinkedIn ad and they came through another source and they visited the thank you page, um, that's not gonna fire conversion in your LinkedIn campaigns because it's not associated with the click from LinkedIn. So just want to add a note on that. And now that we have this set up here, we're gonna to go to next. And then you can associate it to your campaigns 
So you, you want to make sure after you create conversions, you go into your campaigns and um, add that conversion to it so your campaign will track against that. So in this example, we'll just put, you know, we want to make sure where we have this thank you conversion in this lead generation campaign, and then we'll click create. So now we'll make sure and verify that the conversion event is working. So we're gonna go into our landing page and then we're gonna submit a test lead. And so we'll go ahead and put in a, a, some test lead info. So I went ahead and put in some test uh, lead info here, just some uh, dummy info and I'm gonna uh, click submit. So we landed on the thank you page after we submitted the form and you can see I have um, the thank you page path and that's what we use to set up our conversion event. So um, once this page loads, that's gonna trigger that conversion to happen. And just verifying we have our insight tag set up here with our partner ID, so that's set up correctly. And we're gonna go back into our uh, campaign manager and we're on the conversion tracking. And we can see our form submission using the last touch model and the status is active. You might see the status as unverified. Um, it can take a few minutes and up to 24 hours for it to come through after you submit a test lead. Um, so give that a little time if you're not seeing it. If you're not seeing it active after 24 hours, then uh, contact support or leave a comment in this video and um, I can try to help troubleshoot that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. As long as you have your insight take installed successfully, and the page path is correct, it should work. It's um, probably the most straightforward way to create a conversion action um, for LinkedIn. So let me know if you have any questions on that. And again, I'll post more videos on different types of conversion actions and more videos for um, installing the Insight Tay on different website builders. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section and have a great day.